Before we start, let's discuss some important points. Let's first address the question, what do you need to know? You will need some JavaScript knowledge. We will be using vanilla JavaScript within the browser in our examples. Yet the Hugging Face Transformers JS APIs are versatile. Whether you work with front-end frameworks like React and Angular or back-end ones like Node.js, you can still make use of the amazing library in the same manner. Then, if you have a basic understanding of HTML and CSS, you are all set for this course. The best part, everything we do will run directly in the browser, no complex back-end stuff. You might notice we are using the Bootstrap CSS library. It's a great tool, but we won't spend time on its details. Just remember, our focus is on Transformers JS, not specifically on web design. Now, while the appearance of our demo is important, this tutorial isn't about designing beautiful interfaces. Instead, we will dive deep into how to use the Transformers JS APIs. That's our main goal. Before we delve deeper, I'd like to introduce you to the web pages I have crafted using HTML, CSS with Bootstrap and vanilla JavaScript. While it showcases the user interface design, our main goal will be to add and understand the necessary JavaScript code, allowing us to seamlessly interact with the Hugging Face Transformers JS library. Here I will give an overview of the web pages that we will be using in this course. In this class, I will provide an overview of these web pages, which are built in HTML, CSS using Bootstrap and vanilla JavaScript. Going forward, we will just add the required JavaScript code for the specific AI task on hand. So I created a folder for our project. I opened it in Visual Studio Code and I created the empty index.html file. I will arrange Visual Studio Code and the web browser in this manner. I will have in the middle to the left the Visual Studio Code open and in the right and the middle I will have the Google Chrome uh, open. Now, whatever we will do, we will test it in Google Chrome, but it is applicable to all other browsers. Okay, now let's make sure that we have all our files that we need in the working folder. First, I have created the CSS folder. Inside it, I have the empty styles.css. Now, uh, we will be using the Bootstrap CSS library, yet we will write some custom CSS code which will come in this file. Next, I will create the images folder. In this images folders, we have three images, the logo, which will be on our pages, a tiger image and a cat's image. Okay, now let's go next and add the audio folder. This is the audio folder with its three audio files that we will be working with. Okay, let me close these. Now I will go to the index.html and I will start by providing the main structure of this index.html file. So here I added the main tags for this page. Now I want to preview this page, so I want to show you an extension that I installed. It is the live server extension. This allows us to include a web or a developer web server that can be used to run our HTML pages. Actually, I will come to index HTML. I'll do right click, open with live server. That has opened the folder for us in this developer server. I will start adding content to this index HTML page. So first I will do a link for the bootstrap library. You can Google it and get the URL for the CDN. Then I will add a link to the style sheet. I 
booted as a showed you in the CSS folder. In fact, let's go and open it and add the CSS file. So these are the CSS commands, sorry, that we will uh, be using. These are custom styles. We will mainly be using the bootstrap CSS, but some uh, custom CSS will be needed. Now, you don't need to understand any of this for this course. In this course, we will be just focusing on the JavaScript part. Let's go back to index.html. Let's now add code. So the first, I will add the main container, which is a dev that contains all the content of the page. In fact, if, you, if we view it in the web browser, you can see this container, of course, styled by Bootstrap CSS and the custom CSS that we just did. Let me go back to Visual Studio Code. I will close this as well. So I will keep adding content here. I added the header dev. Inside the header dev, I will put the logo image, as you can see here. Below that, I will put the header title and the header subtitle. So as you can see here, we have the title and the subtitle. Then I'll put a line separator. As you can see here, this is the line separator. Then I will put the main content of the page. It is a dev with the container uh, bootstrap CSS library. I'll keep adding content to it. You see that we have three AI categories that we will be looking at. The natural language processing, the computer vision, and the audio. For each of these, we have added a row. Now, if we come here, as you can see, we have these three categories. Now, let's go and add our first link. So here we have added a card. This card has a link to the sentiments HTML because we will be, uh, it will take us to the sentiment uh, analysis AI task page. Of course, we have the card, we have the card body, and then we have the card title. Now, if we look here, you can see that this is the task. Of course, the sentiment HTML is not created yet, so that's why here it uh, just uh, open an empty file. Let's go back and add the remaining cards. For the nat natural language processing, we have 10 tasks that we will work with. So as you can see, these are the 10 tasks. Then for computer vision, we have four, and for audio, we have three. So let me do the computer vision once. These are the four cards. These are the ones. And for the computer, the audio, sorry, we have three cards for three tasks. So as you can see, our main page has links to 17 uh, AI task pages divided into three categories. Okay, let's go back here. Now we will add just the JavaScript section. We will not use it in the main page, but it is here in case it is needed. Then I will start with the first page, which is sentiment analysis. So let me open the explorer. Now I will add a file sentiments.html. So this is the sentiments HTML file that is linked to by this card for sentiment analysis or text classification. Now inside sentiment analysis, I will put the HTML uh, structure, the main uh, tags. Now if we look here, if we come to sentiment analysis, you can see that this is our page uh, displayed. Let's go and add the main container dev and the script uh, tags. Now, in the main container dev, we will add the logo, the main header, and the subheader, as you can see. If you look here, we have all three of these. Now, let's keep going. Then, we have a button that will take us uh, back to the main uh, page. We have added a horizontal line and this button, 
which will get us uh, back here. Then we will add the content uh, container dev that will contain the actual content of this page. Let me put, I have the natural language processing category and the sentiment analysis, which is a task in that category. So if we look here, you can see we have NLB, we have sentiment analysis. Below, we will just put another button that will take us back to the home page at the bottom of the page. So we have this button and this button, both they bring us back to this page. Now we will add the content specific to this page because what we did so far will be repeated on all pages. Here is the actual content that has to do with the sentiment analysis specific AI task. So I created a container dev. Inside that, I have created a small title for the name of the sub task. We will have five subtasks inside this sentiment analysis page. The title of the first is single input. Let me close this. Now inside that, that's a label, an input text and a button. So if you can see, this is the label, this is the input text, and this is the button. The most important part of the button is the on click. In the on click, we call a JavaScript handler, which is called Analyze Sentiment. I will show you how I will add it below. And these are the functions that we will be working most of the time with. Then we have the output area. This is the output area. So this is our first task, which is single input. We have these uh, UI elements and the output. Then let's go back. We will have a line uh, separator to separate it from the other subtasks. Now we have a total of five subtasks in the sentiment analysis. So let me add them one by one. So this, this is the first, the second, the third, and the fourth. Now, if you look here, we have these five uh, elements. Uh, the single input, the multiple input. The thing that we need to pay most attention to is or are these buttons because these are the buttons that have the JavaScript handlers as you can see here in the on click and all or most of our code will go inside these uh, JavaScript handlers. Okay, let's go back at the uh, button. Now here we will add the initialize model inside the script tag. This will be called when the page is fully loaded in order to initialize, download the model and cache it. In fact, here is this uh, line at event listener, which say that when the DOM is fully loaded, call this initialize model. Now after that, we have these handlers for the five buttons inside the page that we have seen. When any of these buttons are, is clicked, this handler here will be called. Now, a very important uh, point that when we work with this page and this page is now, the template is now uh, ready, we will be doing three steps. The first step will be in the head, we will import the Transformers JS library. Then we will come to the initialize model and we will download uh, the uh, model and cache it. And then we will implement our subtasks using these three functions. So three uh, steps in each page we will be doing. The first step is to import the Transformer JS library. The second one is to initialize the model and the last one is to implement this JavaScript code. Okay, now let me open the Explorer. Then what I'll be doing is that I will be adding files for all the uh, 17 subtasks. So now if you can see here, I have added all of them. Let's for example, uh, get one of them, the summarization uh, HTML. So this is the page. Let's first go to the main page. 
and open the summarization page. So this is the page that we have opened and this is the submit button that we care about. So if we look at the summarization HTML, we will see the head where we will import the Transformers JS library. Then below, we will initialize the model and finally, we will put the JavaScript code that will implement the AI task. So that's all for this uh, class.